everybody. Um, take a look at what I made. It's like a big table, like showing all the competitions I have across the top and then all the events that are in those. So, I mean, I know it's backwards because I'm on my computer, but, and I'm in my office. So yeah, old school style videos on my old computer, but now we're in my new office. Um, so basically it's like one month, da, 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 three competitions, da, da, da. 11 events so it's like so it's like um december's approaching and i have no more competitions in november what did i attend this month fargo i attended fargo fall this month um how did i do in that hang on a second let me see so my competitions <clears throat> i have listed 19 past competitions and this month, okay, so I attended two in October, mini Minnesota and Cubetcha. I attended two in September, September Speed Cubing in Omaha, Nebraska, and Whisk Cube in, on September 16th. And then November was one competition. Yes, Fargo Fall. And um, then, so December, I've got three competitions. Have I ever hit that mark before? Three competitions in a month? Let's see. Um, May, July, September, October, November, December, March, March. I had K cubing and Iowa State Spring in March. Um, I had Minnesota Cube Melt and South Omaha Speed Solve both in May. So this is the first month after all this all this competing where I'll have three competitions, one month, three comps, eleven events. Dun dun dun. So I was trying to get myself organized. Like, what am I gonna work on? So it's like I don't need to work on clock and feet until like a week before. Um, a week before beat the clock. So Walker and I um, organized beat the clock. And the cool thing is, is that um, the Ramsey County Public Library Roseville is six minutes from my house and has a super big 205 capacity fresh brand new space like it's got touch it's got touch lighting controls touch um blinds going up and down a giant projector screen a computer you can use to project what you need um, microphones a kitchen plenty of tables plenty of chairs it's perfect and it's free so beat the clock december 31st and um the concept was that you know beat the clock you gotta get the clocks up to midnight i know in um i know in um uh, cubing challenge that there's clocks so walker and i were a little concerned about that but then he was like hey we could do it like a 40 or 50 person competition and do three by three and then do the second round as a tournament like a head-to-head -head tournament best of one so really, really cool. That's coming up. That's going to be announced very soon. The website's finished with that. Um, so yeah, how are you going to organize all the events? Like I noticed that some, some of the competitions overlap, like three by threes at all these. Two by two is at two of them. And Mega Minx is at two of them. So I'm not very good at Mega Minx, but I like Mega Minx. It helps my look ahead. So I really want to work on that. So I'm just going to go through um, the... My, my calendar and find out when I can what like when the best time to practice is up until this point because I've got two weeks uh two weeks ish to um before before North Iowa and that's going to be a day trip and that's going to be a day trip I'm going to leave early in the morning and come home late at night skill con skill con I got my flight I got my rental car and I'm gonna drive to my best friend's house that day. I got a Friday morning flight. I got my substitute ready. She's ready to go and take my, you know, rental car and drive to her house, spend the day with my godson and her. And and then the next day I'm gonna spend at the competition and 62 people are signed up so far. So it's, so it's so exciting, so many events. And I've never been to SkillCon. I don't think I've been to the Rio Hotel in a while either. I've been to Vegas four times, I think. And I think the last time was 20, oh, a long time ago, a real long time ago. So, um, no, it was within the past six years, right? It was within the, within the past six years the last time because I was, I was driving that red Camaro. And then before that, I was driving that Cadillac the the third time fourth 
whatever. Um, so yeah, so I got that going. Same with my best friend. So actually the Vegas um, competition was super cheap. I know it was 50 bucks to get in. And then um, depending on which airline, uh, it'll be the first time flying a particularly sketchy airline. So it's like with that, with the airline ticket and the car, it was only like 200 bucks. So the whole thing is like 250 to go to Vegas and compete um, and see my and see my best friend, my godson, even though she's in town right now. So I see her here and then in a few weeks I'm gonna go down and see her in her natural element and her new house um and then we organized beat the clock beat the clock so the events with that one are um three by three mega minx clock feet and multi blind and that's just a short five hour competition it's like the library is open from 12 to 5 and the competition takes place from 12 to 5 so and there's uh and uh, the thing i like about that one is that there's a dunn brothers coffee shop too right in the in the library so you can get your snack in and i contacted them like are you gonna be open um new year's eve and they were like oh we haven't you have to call back in a few days to ask us about our schedule we haven't gotten that far yet so it'll be cool to have this beautiful space with all this natural lighting that's super quiet it's you know like so it's super quiet and it's got all these glass doors so you can like see see the space in the while well, in the library and everything like that and then and uh and then have the coffee shop there as well and back you know restrooms right across the way everything is just hunky dory and it just like sprang up overnight you know because i was like because i was like man i mean i checked out that space for just like a regular cube club cu you know cubing put it into the regular awareness of people and i was in this big giant beautiful space and having people coming in and out and kids and parents sitting down doing rubik's cubes and stuff and that's like whoa i need to tell walker about this space and i just love how he jumped on board and was like yeah let's do it i love it i'm interested but he said i was interested i'm interested i was like oh my god i can't believe it so that's so that's how that happened and then like a few days later so he was busy and then we finally a few days later got on the phone talking about the competition and got it all scheduled you know pe also people that were delayed rex from chi finally emails me a week later like oh yeah um talking about promotion and what they're gonna send me for the kids because i got you know it's like i got 40 kids at two schools doing cubing and um that's actually going really well so i'm actually really excited for them that they can get they have two minnesota competition opportunities like back to back so it's like you know so so it's so unfortunate when people don't take advantage of these opportunities you know just because oh i'm scared or i'm not keeping track of deadlines it's like when i tell you just go sign up just go get it done so that i don't have to be pissed at you so that i don't have to feel like you like you ain't loyal so that i don't have to feel like me giving away my old cubes that i don't want to you you know, I want to make that mean something, <laughs> you know, it's like to take all my shit and then don't compete. Anyway, um, what else is going on? So besides Chi, I'm getting that squared away. I signed the contract with the Rubik's Cube Speed Solving so Association. Um, and so I'm going to find out how that is going to be working out. You know, it's like, is she going to send me a, a check for $500? Like, how does this whole thing work? So that's the next steps is to find out how to get that $500 for, um, uh the the cubing challenge in january um something else that's going on what else is going on mm. this cocoa is so good it's like it's like a mocha so basically i took this pumpkin spice coffee from trader joe's and then i heated up some um almond nog on the stove and then i took this um starbucks hot cocoa mix so i put this hot coke so i put the starbucks hot cocoa mix into the mug and then I put some of the coffee that's some of that pumpkin spice coffee in there and then I and then I put the hot almond nog on there and it's just it's just so creamy and so chocolatey and so amazing no extra sugar added mm. I need some more of these big mugs I only have one <laughs> but I have like a million small mugs um let's see is that all I have to say I don't know. I don't know. I got this cool gold um, blindfold because I really, <laughs> because, because it's like, I want to see if getting a new blindfold that's gold will motivate me to, um, to uh, get myself together on this cubing thing. Let's see. Let's see. World record. Oh, it's solved. You know what I mean? But like, try to get, try to get me in the mindset. You know, it's like, 
trying to make these things real. I was telling Walker the other day, um, I, I make posters for all my competitions and like, so literally I can have like a wall of framed competition posters. Cause like for every single cop, I have a poster. And I was like, and I was telling him about how I, I use that. I make a poster for a competition. Like I was making posters for competitions before I ever knew how to organize a competition and literally just putting pictures, you know, I mean, a lot of people know this already, like putting pictures creating you know it's like a visualization in concrete form you know it like projects that into the universe and that's all you get back and then competitions just came back so it's like I made it's like it's like I started thinking about competition started creating posters then I started communicating with crystals and it's just like it was weird hmm geez we really are creators aren't we because it's like you know it's like God said there would be light, bam, you know? But it's almost like so that happens with everything in our lives. It's like, bam, and then there it goes. And then it starts coming back and reverberating again and again. And seven competitions later, you've organized seven competitions, and you're like, what am I, what do I do now? So basically, like, what I do now is, um, is um it's like it's like I'm really trying to reach into the community as much as I can with Cubic and do that whole thing because that's, it's where it's at, you know, it's like everybody's heard of one, everybody has, you know, kind of seen one, and then they see us do our thing, and then suddenly their whole perspective changes, and that's where I, and that's where I like to stay, because it's like, it's so, it's such a safe, fake reality, it's like, if you want to live in a fantasy land, you know, do what you love, <laughs> or be a part of the, the Cuban community, and you can be a part of this whole fantasy, this whole fakiness that is the best feeling in the world, you know? It's like all the pain and suffering in the world, and it's like, and then there's cubing, you know? It's like, oh, life. And then there's cubing, you know? So also, um, that grant money, I spent 750 bucks in grant money to get speed stack mats, timers, those big dis displays. So I'm really excited about that. I'm not excited about buying batteries for those displays, but, um, but yeah, and that reminds me that December's coming up, so I need to apply for that other grant so I can get some more stuff for cubing. And that's what my plan is next. It's just to, um, you know, it's like if this space, if Walker loves this library space, there could be so many more small competitions. And I am so excited for that because there could be like ev like one every other month, you know? So it's like, it's like, what do I do? You know, it's like we, Minnesota is just going to have so many competitions and, you know, Minnesota, you know, South Dakota, I was kind of looking at a South, a map of, a, on South Dakota, like, hmm, you know, like what has some good conference space? You know, I was looking at their malls, you know, because that's the thing, malls have conference spaces. There are so many places that you could have competitions, you know, like the world record pyramid single was at a hockey rink. You know, I've been meaning to do a, a hockey one. I've done a soccer field, but I like to do a hockey one. And then also because it's like, it seems as though this spring coming up, it's going to be really clogged with competitions. There's going to be Heartland Champs, and I'm going to help with Heartland Champs, you know, with the glitz and, gl and, with the glitz and glam. Because like, um, I was talking to Walker, he's getting like the whole schedule thing, the stages, the time frames, all that stuff. And it's just like, damn, you know, I really hate that stuff like not hate that actual thing but like for me I don't like doing that type of stuff my brain can't really wrap its head around that sort of thing so like so it's so amazing that there can be people that do that stuff all that ugh, 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 spreadsheets and then scheduling and all that stuff they get all that shit done you know and then it's like me on the other hand it's like I got the place, I got the food, I got the shirts, I got the prizes, I got the money, you know, for like sponsors and all that fun stuff. And that's just like super. And and so as you can see, my whole mood goes, woo. And then when it's time to think about like, like, um, hey, Kristen, you want to make, you want to make a, a staff schedule? Oh, hey, Kristen, you want to, um, does you want to go into cube comps dot com, you want to go to the cube comps website and get that set up oh, oh good grief hey Kristen, you want to you want to you know what i mean it's like oh but hey Kristen, you want to talk to this investor this sponsor he's like yeah keep it, you know so it's pretty fun and um and yeah so that's where i'm at with cubing i think that's all that i've had to share um so this month I have, so 
December, I have three chances to get a sub-20 average. Um, right now, I have... Let's see what it says. Um, let's take a look. I've been putting in so many... I know to not do the timer thing and all that stuff. But, like, so far, this Yushin Little Magic is the best cube on the in the entire planet. It's better than the, the UM. It's just so controllable. Um, where's my 3x3? Three three? Okay. So, basically, right now, my um, average of 1,000 is 22.5. And my last... Let's see. So, like, okay. So, I'm at 3,300 solves in my CS timer. The most recent solves, 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 18. You know, that's all that's in there. 16. I got a 14.48. So, it's like... Set, there's a 17.7. So it's like all these um, solves are going pretty well. I just need to be able to hold it together in competition. I ordered another one of these and some magnets so I can have one that doesn't have magnets and then one that does have magnets. And um, that Vault Power looks super awesome. I'm probably going to get that. Because, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of over the Vault. So... If anybody wants my um, my first batch of cubicle, what was it? My first batch cubicle uh, Valk M's, where they used that um, that stinky epoxy, and they it, so it's like the cube is super heavy, and then they dyed the pieces black, so it's really cool. So I'm like, if anybody wants that thing, you know, it can it can go. I know Drake, I know Drake Bot wanted it. Shout out to Drake Bot South Oma September speed cubing. See, these names are starting to um, are starting to jumble up in my head. And, um, and, and also, so lastly, which, which brings me to my final thought is that um, I have so many competitions and I'm wondering, how do you guys keep track of these in your heads? How do you, how do you um, place certain special significance on certain competitions? Because like certain competitions for me have, you know, have a lot of significance, they come to mind quickly, and then other competitions, it's like, it's like overgone, you know, and it's, and it makes me feel sad that that memory didn't hold as strongly as, um, you know, as some of the other competitions, so let me know about that as well, or sit, talk, talk to me about whatever you want. <laughs> Hope you're able to get some solves in during this video, and I'll see ya! Bye!